Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This video is going to be completely different to what I normally do as I'm basically just doing a vlog of spend a day with me, see what I get up to as a self-employed person. So basically working for myself. So I do apologise in advance about how I look in obviously the next clip but it's me in the morning and I'm not sorry. So let's see what I get up to. minutes on a treadmill just walking let's not let's not go too hard on a Tuesday morning um no it's not Tuesday it's when, is it Wednesday a Wednesday means bin day I need to take the bin out okay let's do this oh, 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 oh. record making my breakfast and I make this breakfast every single day every single day the one time that I record it it all goes wrong my eggs are practically hard boiled they were supposed to be poached yeah great start to the day so I've just got out the shower and I need to get sorted it's 8.46 and yeah, we need to get ready for the day, so let's crack on. So while I'm doing this, let's have a catch up. Let's have a catch up. So obviously with it being a full national lockdown, there's not, there's not been much going on to be honest. Um, I hardly ever leave the house and I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like every time I do leave the house, I mean normally it's for like shopping, like you know food shopping, but I honestly feel like my anxiety just goes through the roof. 
and I don't know if any any of you are feeling the same, but honestly, like my anxiety just goes through the roof every single time I'm out shopping now. Um, especially now that they don't allow you to go in pairs, like into the shop. So normally, me and Steve will go do the food shop together, and that will kind of make it a little bit easier. Whereas now you can only go in one at a time and like when you're inside, like you can't come together. So honestly, like it is, it's tough. Like I'll be honest, it is tough. And I don't really know how long I can cope with it for, to be fair. Business wise, you know, things, things are okay. Things are okay, but they could be better. Um, like I'll be honest, it is, it's stressful being self-employed, especially now during like, the global pandemic and and especially during lockdown like I know we've got we've got the internet and stuff like that and that does make it easy to obviously connect with people but it's just not the same than like actually going out to see people especially when you're dealing with mortgages like I feel like people need to meet you properly because you know you need to build up that trust with people and build up those relationships but I'm doing what I can at the minute and as I say like I'm utilizing Zoom and stuff to to get all my meetings done and to do all my networking and in all fairness like I'm getting more inquiries through which is really really good um, and more clients wanting to come on board and as well as that like I'm working on other projects as well which keeps me entertained and keeps me busy because honestly if I wasn't busy like I don't know I think I think I'd go stir crazy, like I couldn't just sit there and watch telly all day, every day because I just, it makes me feel 10 times worse, like I need to be kept busy, I need to be doing something all the time, I need to keep my brain moving and like ticking, do you know what I'm saying? And yeah, this is like the first time I'm actually vlogging, which is going to be interesting because uh, I'm, I'm not a vlogger. I am not a vlogger. I find it difficult enough to actually record normal videos where it, you know, I've got like a structure to them. Whereas today, there is no structure. You know, it's it's to spend the day with me. I just wanna bring you guys behind the scenes of what it's like to work for yourself. And it's not as glamorous as you think. I mean, I don't know what I thought it was gonna be like, but um, yeah, it's... I'll show you what it's like from my point of view and then you can make your own mind up what you think about it. I think what I find difficult is like, obviously it's having a conversation with the camera when there's nobody answering me. So I'm like, ha ha ha, try and make things up, yay. Well yeah, how are you guys feeling? Like, how's lock, like obviously if you're in England, how's lockdown for you? And if you're in any other country, like what's the situation like over there? Because I feel like we don't really get to hear much about other countries anymore. All we see is that England's the worst in the world. So yeah, great. And honestly, like, I just, I need some sun. Like, I desperately need sun. Um, it's just beyond a joke now. And I'm honestly, like, so jealous of all these people in Dubai living it all. And I know a lot of people are quite angry about it and you know, rightly so, I understand. I understand why you're angry about it. But let's face it, if you could and had the means to do it, you would do it. So we can't really be angry at them for just doing what we all want to be doing. But you know what really annoys me? And this has really rattled my cage recently. And that's people acting superior to others, you know, like acting like they're better than other people. And I'm sorry if I've ever showed you that I'm acting in that way. And you know, if I ever do act in that way, you guys have the permission to come and slap me because everybody's on a different journey, right? And there isn't such a thing of somebody's better than somebody else. Yeah, you might be more successful in certain things and, and stuff like that, but that doesn't determine whether you're actually more superior to somebody else just because of either like the job that you're doing or the course that like your life has taken. And I think what winds me up the most is when people belittle other people um, because of it. And I'll be honest, like I've 
I've most likely done it in the past as well and that's something I'm actively trying to like working on at the minute is making sure like I don't do that you know everybody has their own struggles like everybody has their own like their own traumas in life something that made them the way they are and got them to the stage that they are at, at the minute and I just feel like unless you can offer support to those people stay out like stay out of their business and just just don't worry yourself about it like there's no need to comment on those people's you know lifestyle choices like anything like that you know that's it's their life let them live it how they want to live it and just because you don't agree with certain choices doesn't mean it's right or wrong because guess what we all have our own opinion so yes yeah, so that's just something that has rattled my cage a little bit recently but it's all good well so that's me looking a little bit more presentable i'm such a catfish <laughs> but you know we'll roll with that so yeah i'm just what time is it it's 9 or 7 and I'm just bloody hell that was close sorry um I'm just gonna make myself a coffee make myself a drink and we'll jump onto the zoom for my networking event this morning morning finished um obviously my networking <laughs> and i've also just had a few phone calls that i needed to get done and now i'm gonna now i'm doing um claim your power i don't know if you guys have heard of it but um claim your power is like a 40 day process where you try and find your purpose which i really need right now <laughs> so Yes, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna sit down. I'm just gonna sit down and do that. And then we're gonna have some lunch. So yeah. just finished doing claim your power i'm on day 16 as we speak and i just feel like you know because i'm constantly on my own in terms of like during the day i just feel like i really struggle with like conversation even when obviously steve comes home on a night and you know we talk about our day and stuff like that like i just feel like i just can't even hold a conversation that's why i'm hoping doing something like this like the vlogging it'll make us a little bit better in actually talking and opening up and yeah has anyone else got a problem with this honestly like i just feel like i can't keep like i can't have a conversation Conversation. like what is going on honestly but yeah claim your power if you are currently struggling or if you don't know what direction to take um in life you know if you're at a crossroads something like that not saying that i am at the moment but it does always help um claim your power try and give that a go follow the process as i say i'm on day 16 and already it has opened up my eyes because it really digs into your past to see why you are the way you are and you know I, I ultimately want to become a better person like that is my main aim you know I've done things in the past that I'm not proud of and um, I think we all have but ultimately now I just want to concentrate on being a better person and hopefully you know providing people with support and with help and giving back as well because I just feel like I've been so selfish for so many years and I just it's time to change like it is time to give back it is time to be just an overall good person and that's why obviously the journey to financial independence to financial freedom i'm hoping that that will help me achieve you know other goals in my life as well so initially i just i want to give back any way i can 
you know that's not financial and once obviously my finances are a little bit better and once I've established myself in that respect then you know I want to give back financially as well so yeah that was a bit of a, a dump a heavy dump <laughs> But I hope you guys understand what I mean, do you, like, do you know what I mean? It's just, you kind of, you realise stuff. I think the older you get, the more you realise stuff. And it's nice to just get it out there and to talk about it because I feel like I always have it all in my head. And because I can't hold a bloody conversation, I don't know why, I just feel like I just don't talk about it enough. So I'm using this platform to get my thoughts out there. And, you know, not everybody will agree with, with my opinions and with my thoughts, and that's absolutely fine. But I'm hoping some of you may relate to it. So yeah, wow, that, that got deep quick, didn't it? But anyways, let's get some lunch because I am starving. And I've got another meeting at two. So where's my phone? lost my phone so it's currently 12 47 and i'm gonna grab some lunch because i've got another meeting at two another zoom meeting of course and um, so yeah we're gonna grab some lunch and then get ready for the meeting so i think today we're gonna go for thai chicken yeah there's a random cupcake in there don't ask Just gonna pop that in the microwave. <laughs> so, <laughs> you are all probably gonna laugh about my lunch because I actually get my lunches made, like meal prepped, by my lovely, amazing Nana. <laughs> so. Shout out to Nana for being amazing, um, feeding me. <laughs> so that's the food in the microwave, just waiting for that. Honestly, it's so miserable today. Like I can't even explain to you guys. Living in England, honestly, like it obviously does have a lot of advantages, but the weather, I just, I'm dying for some sunshine. Like I'm dying for a beach. You know, a nice beach holiday. Just being stuck indoors when it's that miserable. Like you can't even go for a walk because it's just raining constantly. And I hate, I hate being negative, right? I hate being negative. Some people might not believe that, but honestly, like I hate being negative. But how, you know, how do you remain bright and cheery when the weather is so dull? Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna show. Well, I'm gonna try and show you. Like, excuse the dirty window, but oh my god, like look how miserable it is. Like. Like why? Where's the sun? Or even just a bit of snow, like, you know snow and sun? Yeah, we're, we're gonna live with that. But rain, rain is the most miserable type of weather ever. But yeah, that's my rant over about the rain. I'm just, I'm just hungry. I'm really sorry, like I'm just really hungry. And my arm is aching from carrying this camera. How do people do it? So I've just had my lunch, <laughs> nice and full now. I'm just gonna top up my lip paste. So I'm ready for the meeting at two, for the Zoom at two. Um, and in the meantime, I'm just gonna do a bit of admin. Uh, I've done some kind of marketing um, just before. And then yeah, I'm just gonna do a bit of admin, make sure everything's as it should be. Uh, and yeah, that's it. I feel like my day would be a lot more exciting if I could actually leave the house rather than just staying in all the time, but it is what it is. Honestly, I absolutely love this lipstick. It's the Huda Beauty one. In a colour girlfriend, love it. Shout out to Jane for getting me it for Christmas. Thank you very much. It's definitely come in handy. I honestly use it every single day. So yeah, thank you for that. So yeah, let's get some work done. sometimes feel like this should be another one of me because I'm managing so many different projects and I've taken so much on that I honestly sometimes just don't know where to put myself. Um, I've tried to be more organised and actually have set days to do things but me being me I just want to get everything done straight away. Um, so yeah that's uh, that's not great but yeah today I feel like today is a bit of a, a boring day in that there's just a lot of Zoom meetings, there's a lot of kind of admin to do, there's nothing, nothing really exciting going on in my life at the moment. 
so I do apologise if it is quite boring for you to watch. But it's just quite nice having someone to talk to, even if it is just the camera. Hi, can you hear me? I'm good, how are you? And I just keep going up and down the stairs, that's, you know, as much exercise as I'm gonna get. <laughs> finished my zoom meetings and i am so so zoomed out right now like you know when you get that zoom fatigue like i'm just I, I love meeting with people and stuff like that but you know just staring at a screen for so long like i don't know i just i just need a break so yeah so what else have i got on for today i think i might jump on the treadmill for like half an hour just have a bit of like a break and then i've just got more admin stuff to do um I've, we've discussed some really really um exciting projects so i just need to get stuff done for that as well and then revision and i need to get some revision done for the upcoming exam because um, if you've watched some of my previous videos you'll know that i've got an exam coming up i keep banging on about it and um, so i really need to be as prepared for it as i can be so yeah, I need to get some revision done ideally. So hopefully I can get that done today as well. And yeah, that's about it. I've just thought like the lighting is absolutely ridiculous in this, in this vlog. So yeah, bear with me on that, but it's awful out there. It's honestly, the weather is awful. And I feel like it's just so dark in the house that I just can't get the lighting right. But it's a vlog, so it doesn't matter, does it? Right guys, I'm gonna end this vlog here. If you liked it, do give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Now, it is my first vlog, so I am sorry if it's absolutely shocking and not what you expected. But hopefully, as the time goes on, the next one I do will be a lot better. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on Monday with a brand new video. Bye guys.